Hey guys, it's Mandy and Joe and Iro. <laughs> hey baby. Welcome back to our channel. Um, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. And if you want to receive notifications when I put up a new video, just hit that little bell. <laughs> Isabella is showing us how to hit the bell. If you hit that little bell, you'll receive an email when I upload a new one. So, we are doing something very special here today because we are doing a collab. And that collab is Pickle Week. So, Pickle Week, sorry guys, I'm pulling out my little pop socket. <laughs> sorry. Pickle Week is hosted by Tammy over at Tater Tots Nursery. She is the one who originated Pickle Week. But there are also two of us that are playing along with her this week, and that is Cena over at Cena's Dolls and myself here at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery. So let me tell you about Pickle Week. Pickle Week is a time when we celebrate all things pickle. Now, if you don't have the pickle sculpt, that's fine. Just get your favorite baby dressed up and ready for pickle week. It does not have to be a pickle, you guys. It really doesn't. But if you do have a pickle, which that is what this precious girl is here. This is Isabella. Isabella! <laughs> this is Isabella. She is the pickle by Nikki Johnston. This beautiful girl was gifted to me by my sis, Cena over at Cena's Dolls. And she is wearing pickle green. And I think she looks so cute. I have got her in this cute little two-piece set. It's kind of like a forest green velvet little long sleeve romper. Look at her thighs. She's the chunkiest thighs. And then it's got this cute little white collar. So I paired it with some nice like bright white socks. And it's got a matching little bow. She's got her little bell um, bracelet on from her Auntie Donna. She looks so cute. <laughs> and then over here is Joe. Joe looks cute too. And then, okay, please stop being weird. And then I'm there's sorry. Iro. <laughs> hey, what are you looking at? Hi. 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 Hi, baby. He likes pickles too. <laughs> you can always count on Joe for weirdness. Do you see the end of the other video the other day, you guys? When he was just like, bye. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> anyway, you guys, it is Pickle Week. So how we are doing Pickle Week this time is we have a Thanksgiving-themed tag for you guys to play in if the spirit so moves you. And um, you can find all of these questions over at Tammy's channel. That's Tater Tots Nursery. I'm going to link both her and Cena in the description of the video. Uh, probably in the title, actually. But if you go over to Tammy's channel and you go to her community wall, she actually has a, like a, <laughs> she actually has a picture of all the questions that she wrote out for the tag. So we are going to be answering these today. So let's get started. So Thanksgiving Pickle Week. Okay, guys. So um, number one is um, your favorite song that you like at, at uh, Thanksgiving. Either We Gather Together or Over the River and Through the Woods. So I have to tell you, I do not know what We Gather Together is. Um, so I'm going to have to say Over the River and Through the Woods. Do you know what We Gather Together is? No idea. I don't either. So, but, you know, I, I, I definitely know, you know, over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. Oh, da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> Number two. Pickles. Sweet or dill? Dill. Okay. Now, Joe always has the same answer. It's, it's definitely dill. It's dill. Okay. So, for me, you guys... I love sweet pickles. My favorite is actually bread and butter pickles. I love bread and butter pickles. They're usually sweet. I love a sweet pickle like Isabella. Anyway, number three is football game. So this is like after you've eaten, guys. After you've eaten. Football game or nap? Well, I don't like sports, so it's nap. 
What about you? Is it nap? Nap. Or or is there a third answer where you go into your office and you play World of Warcraft? Because I think that that's probably the obvious solution, but that's not a choice. Yeah. So we're going to go with nap. <laughs> 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 okay. So how long does it usually take to clean your house before you host? <laughs> so I will tell you, I've only hosted Thanksgiving once in my entire life. And I deep cleaned my house for probably two straight weeks. And... While I was cleaning that morning, I was still going around spot checking and deep cleaning. Um, My mother hosted Thanksgiving a handful of times. And I got to tell you, when mommy wants to get the place clean for Thanksgiving, it's an absolute nightmare. Yeah, I I, I feel like I would be the same way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so number five, cranberries out of the can or cranberry salad? Now, I am kind of a very traditional girl, you guys, when it comes to Thanksgiving. I really love cranberries out of the can. What about you? Can. You like it? Okay. Yep, we're agreed, you guys. Canberry out of the can, ridges and all. Okay, so number six, your favorite food as a leftover. So my favorite food as a leftover is always stuffing. I love leftover stuffing. I love making a turkey sandwich and putting stuffing on it. What's your favorite food as a leftover? Uh, well, stuffing, and then it doesn't even have to be a leftover. I'm just all about that stuffing. Okay. Yep. So we have the same answer, guys. <laughs> and then number eight, um, do you eat early or do you eat... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. We skipped a question, you guys. We skipped a question. Uh -uh. Oh, no. Okay. Number seven. Stuffing or dressing? Um, What's the difference? Stuffing. So stuffing is kind of like, I think stuffing is inside the turkey. Dressing is like you cook it on the side. I like it. I like the stuffing that you actually put inside the turkey. Like I like it has, it has, you know, the juices from the turkey cooking. So I'm going to go with stuffing. I'll go with stuffing. Okay. So Number eight, do you eat early a.m. or late p.m.? Um, for my family, always, always, it's early. We eat at noon. It's always noon. What was it like at your house when oh, you were growing up? Oh, exact way. Noon. Well, I mean, maybe not noon, but like one or two, because, I mean, you need that whole afternoon for He's watching so football and napping. Yeah, and ignoring the family members that you don't like. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't have that problem with my family. I love all my family members, but, you know, I know it's not like that with every family. Okay, so, number nine, sweet potato pie or pumpkin pie? Pumpkin. Yeah, for me, it's pumpkin pie. Now, I have had sweet potato pie. I think it's delicious, but I like my sweet potatoes to be cooked on the stove. You've got kind of like your syrup. you got your marshmallows in them. Um, that's how I like to eat my sweet potatoes at Thanksgiving. So for me and Joe, it's going to be pumpkin pie. Okay, and then we've got a bonus question. Do you eat at the kids' table or do you eat at the adult table? Um, Honestly, I'm probably going to be eating at the adult table because um, I don't have a lot. Well, to be perfectly honest, I don't have a lot of little kids in my family. Now, Joe does. What about you, Joe? You've got lots of kids in your family. Adult table or kid's table? Oh, I'm all about the kid's table okay. because they don't eat their food <laughs> and I get all the leftovers. Okay, so Joe's going to eat the kid's table. I'm going to eat at the adult table. <laughs> okay, so um, extra point, you guys, extra point. Do you wrap up leftovers and take with you? Now, okay, let me remember the context of this question. This is if the leftovers are nasty. All right, guys? This is if they're nasty. Do you wrap up the leftovers and take them with you or throw it away when no one is looking? So, if we are talking about my family, I'm going to wrap them up and take them with me because I'm going to tell you, there ain't nothing that my sister or my mom cooks that is bad. I love all of it. Now, if I am at a friend's house, if I'm at a friend's giving and their food sucks... I'm going to be polite, and I'm probably going to take it with me, and then 
maybe throw it out at home or, or, or I might be like, oh my gosh, we've got so much in our fridge right now. I just can't. I can't. You eat it for me. Okay. That's what I probably will say. <laughs> um, do you feel the same way? Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Oh no, you're I got fine. Zuzu coming at me. Um. Um. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Here's the last one. This is Thanksgiving trivia provided to us by Tammy. Um. If you learned in school, a turkey goes gobble gobble. That's only half true. Only male turkeys are gobblers. Female turkeys cackle. <laughs> Kind of like that? I don't know. So if you're... <laughs> oh my gosh, you scared the puppy! So if you're trying to figure out whether a turkey is a male or female, wait until they open their beak. Well, let me tell you something. By the time they're on my table, they ain't got no beak. They ain't got nothing. They're just a big naked bird ready to be cooked. Okay? Okay? Oh, okay. crap! That <laughs> sound like Cena. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. So thank you for joining us Bye. for... Bye. Bye. Thank you for joining us for Peckle Week. Here's Isabella one more time. All right, guys. We're going to let you go. We will talk to you soon. So take care. Take care of each other. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Deal's better. I know sweet pickles are better. Oh, hi Zuli. <laughs>